hello, you don't need me to tell you what race I'm at. Well, you don't need to tell me what bike this is because it's got a big enough logo on there. It is Borghini's bike for Ruby. Now it is the fourth generation Damani. They did use this bike for the first time last year and got a pretty good result on it. Will they get the same result as they've had in the past two years on this? Well, by the time this video's up, I'm sure you'll know. So what is Borghini using for 2023 on that fourth generation Damani SLR? A frame that is 52 in size. Well, let's start with a group set. They are again sponsored by SRAM. In this case, it's the Red Axis group set. She has got a 52 one by chairing up front held in place by a K-Edge guide. And out back, we've got a 10.33 cassette. Oh, one little detail. The battery's been securely held on by a, an elastic band, which has been made from an old inner tube. Being wireless shifting, well, they're using the old blip buttons from SRAM. Borghini's got two, just tucked away underneath the top of the bar so she can shift while she's on the tops. And she's also got two just on the inside of the curve. I presume that's for being able to shift when she wants to sprint or, well, if your hands are rattling all over the spot and you can't reach the normal levers. Plenty of options for shifting for sure. There's no double wrapping of the bar tape, standard one wrap on there. So I'm guessing she's got some good gloves from Santini to use. Them bars are a 38 millimeter wide Bond Traeger, matches the triple X stem, which is a 120 mil and a negative 17 degree drop on there. And so you know what cobble sectors you've got coming up. She has, of course, got the, uh, the old root taped to the top of her top tube. So it's not just the wire hill computer held on by the K-Edge mount, giving her the information out on the road. Well, that and the radio that she'll have in her ear. Obviously that other contact point that you want to keep comfy while riding is your derriere. And in this case, to do the job, we've got a Bond Traeger Aeolus Pro saddle on there. Carbon rails, carbon shell, very fancy indeed. The other trick this bike has up its sleeve to keep things comfortable is those ISO speed decouplers on the rear ear and in well the headset area wheels are also from trex in-house brand bontrager these look like they've been uh, abused before there's a few scratches and chips and dings on there in this case the wheels are the aeolus rsl 37v which doesn't stand for very nice though it could do it just means it's the wider variety of the bontrager wheels because well you need wide tyres for Roubaix, and in this case, she's using the Pirelli P0 Race TLRs in 30 millimetres. I have asked what tyre pressure they're using, but it's all top secret round here. Oh, and a little detail on them wheels is there's a Kugel sticker on the, uh, the hubs. The reason, because, well, the mechanics have taken out the standard bearings that you get if you'd to buy these wheels as stock standard and replace them with the ceramic ones from the Kugel brand, hopefully making them a little faster. Oh, and if she does need to stop, she's got 140mm rotors on there. Now let's talk about that paint job because, well, it's pretty damn fancy, isn't it? It's meant to conjure up images of the cobbles, the rough surfaces, the rough edges. It's just nice and pretty, isn't it? What do you reckon? Is it nicer than the red one that they used last year? I've got to say, I'm liking this a lot. OK, final few finishing touches. Pedals come from time. It's the first year these guys are riding them. In this case, it's the X-Pro Carbons. Bottle cages where you've got to have ones that definitely keep them bottles in place as well. Bumping over them 17 cobbled sectors. In this case, it's some pretty standard, just like plastic resin Bontrager things. Not super lightweight, but definitely do the job. I think that's about it, isn't it? Nice looking bike. What do you reckon? Gotta say, yes, pretty, pretty, pretty damn sweet. Let us know in the comments below. Join the conversation like you know what to do. Enjoy the holy week. Well, what's left of it. Thanks for watching.